White Rock 85, yes, I'm on the outskirts of Wellsboro right now, heading up to the cabin for another solo trip. Uh, just to kind of check on the uh, timbering and see what's going on and just to get up there and do a couple things. So i uh, be here for about uh, three and a half days or so. Uh, should be nice after today and tomorrow I think we might get some thunderstorms possibly today and a little bit tomorrow but uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are gonna be good days so uh, sit back for a little bit enjoy uh, gonna put a new twist on uh, this one you'll see coming up but uh, well, I'll see you after I get all settled in up the cabin got everything unpacked and everything's inside uh, a little warm 83 in the cabin right now uh, 81 out here uh, taking a look at the, the radar here there are a couple cells around so I'm hoping to get at that passing thunderstorm and we should have some nice days coming up but uh, we'll take the time put some beer in the old cooler uh, got the new Belgium this is the voodoo ranger hoppy pack number seven it's got some good stuff in there I drank a lot of the uh, the IPAs and the juicy IPAs uh, in the stove pipes, the 19 and a halfers. Get a few of these in and then who knows, but I'm gonna have to hit Steve's for the old Straub. Uh, I kinda had a hankering for that a couple weeks back. I just had a little soup and uh, I do have one thing to do. I put a camera out down the field the last time, uh, you saw that, and uh, had some good bear pictures, some good deer pictures on it. And then uh, Mike was up uh, about a week later and uh, he saw this. Now look at this bear right on this camera over here and uh, right after that stopped working. So let's go down, let's take a look at this, see what that bear to, did to it. I might just have to power off, power on again to get that thing working. So uh, I hope that's all it's going to take or maybe it, it moved the antenna or a little bit or something. So let's go check that out. I don't see any physical damage. Uh, this is a metal box, so that is good. Maybe I might have just heard a little thunder in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, uh, recycle it, do a, do a boot on it, and put it back and see if we get anything again. I'll just check the status on the app. And it communicated, and this, I'll point the arrow to it, and that tells you there's a photograph. So there'll be a beautiful one of me on there, I'm sure. Let's check it. Oh yeah, great. Great shot. But at least I know it's working. Glad to see there wasn't any issues with it and uh, just needed a reboot, which sometimes they do. That's the bad thing is that when you have them 150, 200, 300, 400, 100 miles away and they need a reboot, you can't do it. So that's a one downfall of those. With our tree guy coming through and knocking some of these trees down over here, uh, I don't want to do anything to the field uh, this year. I want to see what happens and then we're going to kind of go from there a little bit. You know, I might cut it. Uh, towards the end of fall, but uh, that would be about it, I think, for this year. Here's the Mountain Laura down by our gate, and just missed it by a, probably two weeks or so is at its peak, but it uh, looks pretty nice. I know they have the Mountain Laurel Festival up here about mid-June. I'm just going to walk up to the corner and see uh, see how they're doing. And I'll, I'll go hit the back deck after we're done here. Mm. Oh, deer. Deer been running this road, that's for sure. Look at all these prints. Well, here's our landing. And then we have some over here. I'm not sure whether he's gonna take those or not. And uh, if not, wow, is that some good firewood right there? I'm sure there's a lot of pieces of firewood that just take some effort to come up and get it cut and split. Well, 
I'm not going to go down that way. Let's uh, let's cut through here. See what we got. Well, this trail right in here. You've seen me walk down that many, many times. Coming down this way and going down that way. But uh, we have a new trail or a new logging road cut right now. And this was never here. And I'll tell you, boy, there is some wood to be had for some ambitious young gentleman, unlike myself. Let's uh, take a walk down here, see what we see. See some dozer marks and some tree drags coming out. Yep, and it goes down and around. I think it probably goes down around in front of our cabin. So we have a new trail here, which is nice. I'm not going to walk down at all right now. I can hear some more thunder in the background. So I'm going to get back to the cabin, but uh, they're definitely making some progress here. And this is right back off the deck here. Straight down in that area, I can see some cuts and thinning. So that's... Uh, that's what we wanted to see down here. Definitely clear out a little bit and hopefully uh, a gent will be here tomorrow and I'll hear some cutting at some point during the day. Looking for all this so we can look and sit here and look out over the the valley and back up onto the other hill on the other side. We're going to go ahead and start dinner now. We had a little thunderstorm this afternoon, cool things down outside, a little bit warm in here still but uh, we'll manage. Before dinner here, uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, put up another pin here in our Blue Pot Cafe, our, our kind of our wall of honor over here for veterans of, of all conflicts. And this is the uh, 1st Cavalry Division for Korea. Uh, I just got this the other day and uh, luckily, luckily it came and I was able to bring it up here. So we're going to go ahead and put that up with the others up there. Uh, I really don't know anybody that was uh, in Korea. I know my uncle was, but uh, as a lot of those uh, folks from those days uh, didn't talk about it at all. So I, I really didn't, uh, didn't hear much about it as far as personal experience. But I am going to put this up in, uh, in the, the honor for those that, uh, that fought in that conflict. And there we go. It's up with the others. As I continue to come up, I'll keep going ahead and putting a pin on there to, for uh, some remembrance uh, for all the all they did for us. I need to get one in there for the Civil War. Uh, my wife's side of the family uh, fought in the Civil War and I, I need to, uh, to get that one, one of those up for them also. For tonight's dinner, something nice and easy like I like to do when I'm coming up. We got some salted butter and garlic shrimp on some skewers. And a little bit of uh, cilantro, lime, rice I'm going to do up in the fry pan here. This will be a good, quick, easy dinner here for tonight. That'll be, that'll be enjoyable. Nice evening out here on the porch after that good shrimp dinner, shrimp and rice that hit the spot. I did bring a dogfish with me, one, before I get into those voodoo rangers, uh, the sequench ale. The session sour, a little sour side, black, uh, what is it, black lime and sea salt. So I think I'll have that sit, sit back here. Certainly nicer out here than it is in a cabin right now. I know that cabin will cool down a little bit later. So I'm just going to sit here for a while, relax, uh, look at the damage the gypsy moss did, and hope I don't get the any more uh, reactions. Uh, last time I was up, broke out in uh, bumps and or hives or whatever you want to call it. Look almost like chicken pox or poison ivy from the gypsy moss. So apparently I'm allergic to them. Happened last year, didn't know what it was. We thought it was poison ivy last year, but being up uh, this year, same time, it kind of confirmed it. So uh, I'm just going to kind of just sit back here relax. We'll see what happens in the morning. Uh, maybe I'll get woken up to uh, sound a chainsaw cutting down over here 
or I'll just wake up naturally and get some uh, some eggs and scrap on it and stuff going tomorrow morning. We'll go ahead and continue on with dead wood. You've heard that theme for the last uh, little bit. As I mentioned, I don't want to rush through it. So I uh, kind of saved it and uh, brought it up again now into the third season. So we'll get into that a little bit uh, while I'm here and a couple other movies. For those of you who made the guess last time, uh, 99 and 9 tenths percent were right on the money. You knew that one. Everybody agreed it was a great movie. Last of the Mohicans. So for those of the, you got that from those two images, congrats. And uh, maybe I'll pop another one in this trip. Hey, morning, morning. A little muggy last night, wasn't it? We've been not used to not being in air conditioning, but that's uh, that's okay. Uh, tonight, I think we might be down into the 40s or low, low 50s tonight. So uh, that'll be the end of that for the trip. But, uh, waking up with some uh, Black Rifle coffee here. Again, I want to thank my daughter and her family for sending this out uh, for Father's Day uh, last week. And uh, this is the Black Rifle Calf, or Extra Caffeine, which I need this morning. Not quite hungry yet. Uh, going to put that uh, breakfast on hold for, for a little bit until I get around to it. But it's going to be scrapple, hash browns, and eggs. So it's going to be good once I get to it, once I get in the mood for it. Not quite set for it yet. I'm supposed to have no rain the rest of the trip. Again, it rained a little bit last night. But uh, now we're supposed to just have some clouds. And that's supposed to clear later. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we do. Our battery got drained down to 47 last night, so I'm going to try to not to run too much electricity at all today and uh, see if we can get it to, uh, see what we can get it to. So it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see what it does for another full day of partial sun and clouds. I might start off a little painting this morning. I uh, hit this wood over here that I used to, to set up for the solar panel and then uh, a little bit of the fencing there. I'll go ahead and paint it first. Uh, before I put it up and uh, I think that's I think that might be on the agenda this morning get the boards out and see what I need to do to, to get that uh, going. I have some boards out here that I'm going to make this fence with. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually fit it up and see how big it's going to be get all the pieces cut and then I'm going to go ahead and paint them and I go and put it together that could be tomorrow depending on how fast that stain dries or paint dries but uh, we'll get that together and I just want to put something a little bit in front of here uh, when I have pictures of the cabin it shows a little bit it, not like we care because you know hey this this is a great thing to have it it was a beautiful addition to the cabin I'm just trying to hide it a little bit and I want to get it that we could take that fence down for very easily for some reason if they had to come in and swap this tank out i can't imagine that's going to ever happen but i just want to make it easy that that it can be done i have the fence sections cut out there's a little mix of cedar and pine in there it doesn't look too bad i don't think get those stained up and then i'm going to use these other boards to to use as the uh post yeah, put a coat of paint on them. I think it matches the cabin pretty good for just out off the rack stuff that I kind of picked. The logger showed and uh, he's going to go ahead and start cutting. So right down here behind the cabin, uh, let's take a look. Right down in this area we took a look at. The, he's going to be down in there. So we'll see if he takes some of these trees out along here. I'm not sure how, how far he's going to get this afternoon. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it and, and uh, see how he's doing out here on the deck here. A little warm right now with the sun beating down. But uh, it's nice out in the front. Got all that stuff three quarters uh, stained up or painted and uh, waiting for that to dry so I can do the rest. I think I'm going to wait overnight and then go ahead and, and put that uh, little piece of fence up tomorrow. Uh, so it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but uh, I'm not in any rush to do anything. I had one little snafu last night. Uh, the Season 3 of Deadwood, for some reason, would not play on my DVD player. And as a matter of fact, we have two of them in there. It wouldn't play on either one. One, it said incompatible disc, and the other one, it just you put it in and it spits it right back out again. 
So I'm not sure what's going on there. I looked on the box to see if it was some type of European version or something like that that I missed. But I don't see anything that uh, says it shouldn't run. So I didn't pay a, a ton for it and to, to send them back would be more than I've actually paid for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and have to look for season three. So I guess I can't watch Deadwood up here, which is a little disappointing. I wanted to continue on with it. I, I kind of look forward to come up here and watch it. Uh, well, let's take some drone flights here. This is a DJI Mini 3. Just came out a few weeks ago uh, with the RC controller. So let's uh, let's get this thing up in the air. Got my glasses on so I can see this, but right, right now it's taking a picture of what we want cleared in front of the deck. So let's go a little higher and see if we can see what's going on. That's kind of the view we're looking for down that way. We're, of course, we're not going to quite have all of this showing, but uh, let's see, what are we now? About uh, eh, 120 feet. Let's go higher. And as you can see, all the trees that were eaten by the gypsy moss. Hey, there's the cabin there. Alright. Let's go up and see if we can see the landing area. And there it is. He's got some logs up there. They need to get the truck in there and get some of these out of here. You can't quite see the trails through the woods.
go home. Bring it home. Now here it is, DJI Mini 3. Like I said, just came out a few weeks ago. Uh, I really don't have a lot of experience flying a drone. As a matter of fact, until I got this, I didn't have any. I didn't even fly Sean's when he had his up here. But uh, very easy to fly, especially with that RC controller. Uh, really does good 4K camera. Really, really nice. Well, I'll go ahead and put it away for now, but uh, we'll Maybe we'll get it out again when when he's back cutting some more logs. Hey, dinner time, dinner time. Today, pecan smoked wings. I think I got a lot of backlight in me, but bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm gonna put some Old Bay on some of them. And uh, I'm gonna put this Nando, Nando's Piri Piri sauce on there. This is some uh, lemon herb. And uh, this that goes with our featured subscriber today, Tucker. And uh, Tucker went to uh, Africa on a big game hunt. And he told me once they were there, every dinner they got 20 sauces served with whatever they were having. And this was one of them. And uh, he sent me on that. And I, Tucker, I appreciate that. Uh, so I'm going to put that on some of them. I'm going to put the Old Bay on some others. Probably have some leftovers. And... Uh, Maybe have a little bit for lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to get uh, cooking up these pecan smoked chicken wings. And uh, that's going to be a good dinner. And hopefully I pronounced the Piri Piri right. It looks like Peri Peri, but I think it's Piri Piri. Uh, so I got the grill heated up. And uh, let's get some of these wings on. Old Bay on these others. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a sound. The Voodoo Ranger. And, what is this? Fat Bottom Betty. Well, since I can't watch the Deadwood, I'm going to have to uh, make up for it by just having a, a Fat Bottom Betty here, uh, Deadwood Cigars. And the, the Voodoo Ranger uh, IPA, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I like those. I like the Voodoo Ranger line. So I'm just going to kick back here. The wings were very, very good. It was a nice combination of a little bit of Old Bay and then a bit of lemon. And uh, I'll tell you what, the Piri Piri. That sauce says extra mild on there. It is hot. I tried the medium at home. It is super hot. So that African spice in there, that African chili uh, is what gives it the heat. That stuff packs a punch. Uh, and uh, I, know, uh, I know Sean and I know a couple of the other guys are really going to enjoy that. I have a couple other bottles, again, thanks Tucker, um, that I'm going to bring up when they're here and uh, let them enjoy. So I'm just going to kick back here for a little bit. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see a little wildlife. I don't know, bear or fox if I, if I shut up here. And then we'll go ahead and get that little fence section set up tomorrow after the paint's all dry tonight. That shouldn't take too long. Hopefully we'll be done by shortly after lunch. 
mountains and uh, then we'll see what else we're gonna do probably a lot a whole lot of nothing so uh, I'm gonna just kick back here temperatures are dropping uh, we're into the low 70s now gonna start creeping into the 60s and the 50s so it should be a great night I'm still sitting out here on the deck have my Balfang with me and a couple gentlemen right now are talking about some radios and what they're doing to them. It's not going to interrupt our conversation, but you can always listen to them and hear what's going on. So it's nice to have this with me. One other thing, if I ever had any issues, I know I could get on there and contact somebody and uh, see if I could get some help if I really needed it. But uh, hey, last time I showed you a Jeep, you guys didn't see, that was my first Jeep. How about my first Grand Cherokee? This was back in 2000. Well, here it is. Here's the uh, Grand Cherokee. And uh, in this picture is my wife's white Camaro uh, that she had for a bit before she, that was a six cylinder before she traded it in for an SS, for a, uh, a nice black SS. That uh, was a pretty nice car, very fast, very, very fast. Close up of the, the Grand Cherokee. Again, this was the first uh, blue one that, uh, that I had, or first Grand Cherokee that I had. Uh, that was a nice Jeep, uh, gray interior, blue, and uh, yeah, that, uh, that served me well for a pretty long period of time. It was, a, it was a nice one. As far as wildlife yet, but I guess maybe I'm making too much noise. But uh, yeah, we're just cracking into the 60s now. I had to put the jacket on, and uh, it's a very nice evening. A few mosquitoes around, but uh, not too, too bad. So I'm just going to sit here for a bit more and uh, like I said before, I'll catch you in the morning. Well, a little chillier last night, wasn't it? Uh, it got down to 51 out and about 57 in the cabin last night, so I had to throw a couple extra blankets on last night. But that was a that was a nice change over the night before the first night. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, that piece you just saw with the stars, that was the galactic center that went by in the, in the middle of that. Uh, uh, this is a great spot to see the, the stars and galaxy up here. I have a chart that tells me when it is. And I had the GoPro set up last night to go on at 12.30 at night and go off at like 3.30 in the morning. And uh, it was a, it was turned out good. That was definitely that was the. Let me tell you what. Let me run that by again real quick here for you in case you missed it. But this is the the stars, and then you, you can see the band in the center, which is the 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 Milky Way, the galactic center of the galaxy, which is uh, which is nice to see when you're up here. It's a, uh, it's kind of awe inspiring when you see that. You you realize how small you are and some of the problems that you have just really shouldn't be problems when there's when there's a whole galaxy and a whole universe out there you know, uh, it just makes you think a little bit and uh, kind of makes you sometimes feel better about yourself and kind of relax a little bit and, uh, I think it, it it helped me I was going through a few things and it kind of just helps me to relax a little bit when I when I see things like that but gonna have some coffee gonna get onto the little fence over there i'm hoping our log guy shows again today and starts taking some things out down here where we can actually see him and if not maybe i may try to fly the drone overhead as he's cutting a few trees down there and uh see if i can kind of see that happening as as he's doing it uh if i have enough flight time on the drone that drone will go for about uh about 30 minutes or so uh, and that is the uh, one of the under 250 gram drones, which allows you uh, basically to fly it uh, without registering it or anything like that. So it's it's kind of nice. It's it's almost in that toy zone uh, category, except that it's definitely not a toy. It's a sophisticated drone, and uh, but it's lightweight and small, as you saw. Uh, so that's what's on tap today, and then a good ribeye dinner tonight. One of those like, hey, you did something, let's let's reward uh, yourself or something. A good ribeye dinner, a little baked potato. We'll see that later after. Uh, same breakfast from yesterday. So, uh, I'm going to have my coffee. Uh, just sit for a bit. There's no rush to do anything, and, and then we'll get on that fence. 
I shouldn't slurp my coffee on camera, should I? How about this? Still did it. Before I got started on the, the fence thing over there, uh, here's our pit right here. Now I'll go ahead and put a last third of a bucket here from the Lucky Buck. I don't know how much more I'm going to do, just uh, I don't want to push it as far as having anything here during hunting season. But I have been getting some good picks, and uh, as they say, the red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. Warneth by land. And you can see uh, these deer here, they got their nice summer red coat going. And uh, have a fawn or two. It's tough to tell whether there's more than one. I haven't seen two together, but uh, have a couple nice fawns and have these bucks here. The ones I think is going to probably most likely be a spike, maybe a three point, and the other maybe a six. So we're not, I don't have anything huge yet. I've seen some really big bucks in velvet so far, but these, these are small so far and I'm, I'm still hoping maybe a little lucky buck uh, they can get a, an extra inch or two or whatever they're going to get. So let's put this down and then we'll go back get that fence done. And that is it. Keep an eye on what's going on and and hopefully we'll get we'll get something good out of these uh, these deer here. All finished up. Got some touch up painting to do, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Let's take a look from a little farther back. And there it is. It just uh, the tank just doesn't quite stick out as much, which is all I was looking to do is just hide it just a little bit. And I, I think that uh, I think that worked out okay. You know it's there, but it's not kind of like in your face. And, uh, all right, well, I got some things to put away over here, some tools, cleaning the toolbox up and straightening that out.
Oh yeah, you got it. Them two there are marked too, but I gotta get the other ones out of the way first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know what you mean. Looking good. Okay, as long as you're happy. Oh yeah, well, I know there's some more, but I know there's a few marked all up in here and everything, so. Yeah, there's one there marked. I can't see, I have to get on that side. Okay. Well, he's working on clearing us out. I'm starting to get a view. Needs to be a little bit more done. Yeah, here's the ribeye. Starting to cook up with the potato. And you can hear the dozer in the background. A little, little rosemary from Mrs. Rook's garden, of course. Had to have some of that. It gives it a, just a little bit of a piney taste, really. That's what that does. Let's close this up for four minutes and then we'll, we'll go ahead and rotate and get some nice grill marks on there, some sear marks. Oh boy. That's looking good. Alright, it's ready to come off. Let it rest a few minutes. Crisp up that potato skin and uh, we'll go ahead and get the salad ready. Wow, that was a good dinner. Well, just going to sit out here on the deck again like last night. Just uh, kick back and relax. I get a nice cup of uh, decaf here. Hit the spot after that dinner. Wow, wow that was a good one. I'm slurping my coffee again, aren't I? The same thing as last night. I'll go watch a movie. But uh, I'll tell you what, here's a, here's a frame from last night. And I'm telling you, you guys are good. And I have a feeling you'll get this one even though it's one frame. But we'll see. We'll see. Hey, you guys do really good. I, I, I couldn't be more proud of you uh, getting those. It seems like I can't stump you. Maybe. We'll see if this one can. We'll just do one frame and see what happens. Well, pretty good day with the logging going on down here and starting to clear things out. Uh, he's got some more to do. I, I guess he'll be back tomorrow. You take it easy and we'll catch you in the a.m. Well, it's another pretty good night last night. Another good shot of the, the center of our galaxy. I really like getting those. Did a little touch up painting this morning. Just a couple spots here on the on the fence there where I did some cutting. And not a big thing, it's not fantastic, but uh, I do like the look instead of the other. And uh, let's come around here. I got the grill all cleaned up. I clean that out and clean those grates up and and I uh, also did some painting down here with the uh, the solar set up here. Uh, painted this all so that will last. And I even uh, have one of those gas station uh, squeegees. And I put a ring on there and we'll use that to clean the, uh, the, the solar thing when it gets dirty. Uh, if we need to. Well, which I, which I can already see some things on there. So that may come in handy. But I uh, did all paint all this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and take off. I was going to go in town, have some dinner. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take off, get home. Uh, the mosquitoes are a little tough uh, this trip. I'm, I'm getting a lot of bites. And just a little bit too, too much. Uh, I wasn't able to sit out on the deck last night. I should have had some citronella candles going. But I didn't. And uh, I think one of the reasons is this high grass out here. I think they're they're in among the, the grass, and I, and I know that's uh, that's one of the reasons I think the mosquitoes are getting bad. But I uh, have a few stops in town. I'm not going to end this yet, but uh, I think I am going to end the cabin piece of it. Just got to load the jeep up and uh, and get on the road a little bit, get into town, coffee and etc. Well, might as well go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, it was a good trip. Uh, got some things accomplished that I wanted to, and uh, the logging is moving along. Uh, 
at a faster pace than I thought it was going to be because they're he's actually over a little bit farther than they were so I would think he's going to be wrapping that up probably within three weeks or so uh, if I'm not mistaken so another could trip could be in the future I want to see if I could bring somebody along with me on that one Sean or one of the other guys maybe uh, to that we can get in the woods and see what's going on and hopefully everything will be like it should be so I did stop at Steve's Beverage Center in uh, in Wellsboro there picked up a case of uh, Straub in uh, bottles which I'm gonna be putting on ice for this evening that's gonna be good once I'm getting home but uh, we'll fight a little bit of traffic here on 80 and then on the Pennsylvania Turnpike I don't like calling it 476 it's uh, that's for some reason that just doesn't have any ring to it and here a tractor trailer carrying gasoline just cut me off so well, what can you do um, but I don't like 476 I'll still call it the turnpike forever uh, I don't know how many times I've been up and down that road thousands thousands of times up and down the turnpike so you'll see me in another video and uh, you saw the drone and that's gonna leak into some other videos also so, uh, well, who knows, maybe I'll have to take it down the shore, down to Lewis or Rehoboth, and fly it around down there for a little bit when the president isn't in town. Uh, so, you know, if you are in Rehoboth and he is in town, you can't fly your drone for some reason. I'll leave you with that, and this is uh, White Rook 85 signing off. Everybody have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.